the problems for the first condition that is ruling with slipping there can be a cylinder or a sphere here there is a translational motion and rolling and the rotation motion can be in this direction that is one case and case 2 is another case which is more difficult is rotation is in this direction initial velocity is in this direction and omega 1 omega i is in this direction and in this case omega i is in this direction and velocity is also in this direction let us take this case in this case this sphere let us take example of a sphere is given certain rotational angular velocity and it is placed on the rough surface now as soon as it is placed on the rough surface there is a friction force which will oppose the rotational motion and it will be in this direction because the frictional force will be in this direction this and always keep in mind that when you are taking translational motion that is the linear motion all the forces which are acting on the body are to be taken as if they are acting on the center of mass but when you take the rotational motion take the forces that is the torque at the point at which it is acting so this force the frictional force will act on the center of mass there is no other force which is acting on this body so because of this force the body will start moving in this direction and it will have certain acceleration so mass into acceleration would be equal to f from this we will find out the acceleration which is f upon m f is the frictional force and when this is happening it is moving in this direction it is uh, it is rotating rolling and also slipping in this direction what what will happen the frictional force is acting against the rotational motion so there is a torque because of the frictional force which is equal to f into r and this torque will retard the rotational motion and situation will come where the rotational motion becomes such that v dash is equal to r omega dash means at that point of time the pure rolling starts until unless there is a pure rolling never equate v and omega so when there is uh, slipping taking place never never equate v omega and a is equal to r alpha is also not there and v is equal to r omega is also not there when there is rotation and also some slipping but after certain point of time in this situation this will be converted into pure ruling and to find out that point and what will be the velocity at that point you have to take the time elapsed t time elapsed t will be same for both the rotational motion and for the translational motion in case of rotational motion let me take this case only in case of rotational motion you will write like this omega final would be equal to omega initial here the omega is being opposed by the frictional force minus alpha and t is the time elapsed in case of velocity you will write v final is equal to v initial plus v initial was zero when we had placed it v initial was zero but i'm just writing it here this force frictional force when there is a rotation and there is slipping taking place this friction force is accelerating the body in that direction so it will be a t we can place the value of alpha and a separately t is i alpha is equal to 
fr t is fr so you can find alpha is equal to fr upon i and you can also find a is f upon m these a and alpha are not related by any equation with each other these are independent to each other uh, till such time the pure rolling takes place so never do the mistake of combining these two the, these two equations a is r alpha would be wrong thing to do till such time pure rolling takes place now you will place the value of alpha and a here this value is not there and then you can eliminate t solve the equation and you will get the value of omega final and v final you have to relate these two because at that of time point of time we are seeing it as pure rotation so v final would be equal to r omega final and by this you can solve any problem by following the standard thing that time taken by both the motions is same both the motions are happening independent to each other we have got the acceleration we have got the value of angular acceleration in terms of the force frictional force f we will eliminate the time t these two are related by this equation so we can solve it as far as the other part is concerned that is the part which is more more difficult where the rotation and slipping is such that the initial rotational velocity is given in this direction and final velocity and the initial velocity v is given in this direction here you will have to solve it in two parts from here to first stage that is time t and then t dash between this stage and this stage up to this stage up to this stage here please keep in mind omega dash is opposing uh, this it is in anti clockwise direction and v is in this direction so from this point to this point omega will fall omega initial will start falling and it will become it will become zero here it will become zero here v will also fall v initial will also fall but it will not become zero if this is the zero point we will fall to some value here v dash here this is v dash here omega becomes zero the rotation will just momentarily stop and again it will start rotating in the reverse direction it will start rotating in clockwise direction so if this was taken as positive then we will show this as the negative value so now it will start increasing and you will get some omega final you will get some omega final and v dash keeps on falling doesn't become zero but it gets some value v final these at this point the pure rolling starts and v f is equal to r omega f you will solve the problem in two parts in first part and in the second part i have solved this case this case taken from the hc verma problem 85 chapter 10 it is there on my channels you can see the detailed solution in that lecture that is problem 85 chapter 10 problem 85 chapter 10 hc verma it's a very interesting problem and it is based on this concept only so these are just few points on how to solve the Uh, rotational motion problems where there is rolling slipping and then after some time there is a pure rolling so that's all thank you